how to find group number subgroup number period number and block number of any element i will teach you super easy trick through which you can crack any college or entry test question easily before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of unique and simple lectures for free now let me teach you the first trick when the last orbital is s for example consider sodium we know that its atomic number is 11 its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s1 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 11 So I have successfully configured the electrons of sodium. If you do not understand about the trick of electronic configuration, then watch our lecture and its link is given in the description. Now listen carefully. The last orbital is s, so the block of sodium is also s. The highest principal quantum number is 3, so the period of sodium is 3. There is only one electron in the last s orbital so the group number of sodium is first also remember that if the last orbital is s or p subgroup will always be a the last orbital of sodium is s so its subgroup is a hence sodium is s block element it is present in the third period and first a group secondly consider calcium and its atomic number is 20 The electronic configuration of calcium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and 4s2. If I add all these electrons, I get 20 electrons. Hence I have successfully configured the electrons of calcium. Here the last orbital is s, so calcium is s block element. The highest principal quantum number of calcium is 4, so the period of calcium is 4. There are two electrons in the last s orbital so the group number of calcium is second we know that if the electrons of an element stay either in s or p orbital its subgroup is always a the calcium is s block element it is present in the fourth period and second a group thirdly consider magnesium and its atomic number is 12 The electronic configuration of magnesium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s2. If I add these electrons, I get 12 electrons. Hence I have successfully configured the electrons of magnesium. Here the last orbital of magnesium is s, so magnesium is s block element. The highest principal quantum number of magnesium is 3, so its period is 3. There are two electrons in the s orbital of magnesium so the group number of magnesium is second the last orbital of magnesium is s so the subgroup of magnesium is a thus magnesium is s block element it is present in the third period and second a group now let me teach you about the second trick when the last orbital is p r d for example consider nitrogen and its atomic number is 7 the electronic configuration of nitrogen is 1s2 2s2 and 2p3 the last electron of nitrogen is in the p orbital so the block of nitrogen is p the highest principal quantum number is 2 so the period of nitrogen is second Now listen carefully. When the last orbital is p r d, always add the electrons in p and s orbital to get a group number. For example, in this p orbital, there are three electrons, and there are two electrons in this s orbital. Three plus two is equal to five. So nitrogen is in the fifth group. We also know that. If the last orbital is s r p its subgroup will always be a so nitrogen is present in the fifth a group secondly consider iron and its atomic number is 26 the electronic configuration of iron is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 and 3d6 the last electron of iron is in the d orbital so iron is d block element The highest principal quantum number of iron is 4 not 3 so iron is present in the fourth period 
Now to find the group number of iron, we have to add the number of electrons in the D and S orbitals. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, so iron is present in the 8th group. Note it down that when last orbital is D or F, its subgroup will always be B. So the subgroup of iron is B. Now consider a special case like zinc and its atomic number is 30. The electronic configuration of zinc is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d10. The last electrons of zinc are present in the d orbital, so zinc is d block element. The highest principal quantum number of zinc is 4, so zinc is present in the fourth period. Remember that d orbital is complete or filled because it can only hold 10 electrons. In such cases, do not add the electrons in D and S orbitals. Directly take the number of electrons in S orbital. There are two electrons in S orbital, so the group number of zinc is second. The last orbital of zinc is D, so the subgroup of zinc is B. Thus zinc is present in the second B group. One another special case is nickel and its atomic number is 28. The electronic configuration of nickel is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d8. The last electrons of nickel are in the d orbital so it is d block element. The highest principal quantum number of nickel is 4 so the period of nickel is 4. Now to find the group number, we add the electrons in D orbital and S orbital. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. We know that there is no 10th group in the periodic table according to Roman numerals. So whenever you get a number greater than 8 after adding electrons, remember that its group will always be 8. Thus the group number of nickel is 8. The last orbital of nickel is D, so its subgroup is B. Thus nickel is present in 8th B group. Finally, the last special case is bromine and its atomic number is 35. The electronic configuration of bromine is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10 and 4p5. The last electrons of bromine are there in the p orbital, so bromine is p block element. The highest principal quantum number of bromine is 4, so bromine is present in the fourth period. Now to find the group number, always add the electrons in the p and s orbitals. You may be thinking that there is d orbital in between, well, always cross it. So 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. The group number of bromine is 7. We know that when last orbital is P, its subgroup will be A. Thus bromine is present in the 7th A group. I hope that you have learned how to find group, period, block and subgroup of any element.